You read the title! So let's get straight into it. But before that, I saw a lot of people commenting, disrespecting my boy, saying, the strongest sorcerer in history, thus the strongest sorcerer available. And I'm not gonna let y'all disrespect my boy like that, so let me ask you this. Is Kusakabe the strongest because he's the last alive? Or is he the last alive because he's the strongest? The chapter starts with Kusakabe using full shadow style simple domain, evening moon sword drawing. Uh, wait, wait, did he say simple domain? This nigga just fought an infinite void and malevolent shrine, and you telling me he opened a simple domain? Yeah, we're cooked. Like, even Sukuna's confused. Sukuna sends slashes at Kusakabe. Who's surprised? Bro got one move at this point. Slashes. And if that doesn't work, more slashes. But Kusakabe says Sukuna's technique will get weaker and his will get stronger inside the domain. Sukuna praises Kusakabe, saying his reflexes aren't bad. And as you know, Anytime Sukuna praises somebody, the chapter usually ends like this. Kusakabe was dodging Sukuna's slashes by reading his motion, but suddenly he gets hit with another set that he barely dodges, meaning Sukuna activated his curse technique with no motion. He did not move, he just stood there, menacingly. We go into a flashback and that officially confirms it. We're cooked. They start talking about the MVP of Shibuya, Miwa, who put up an amazing 0 points, 0 blocks, 0 kills, 0 everything, but 19 misses. Kusakabe senses Sukuna is up to some devious shit and expands the range of his simple domain which surprises Sukuna. Another flashback and Mei Mei starts glazing Kusakabe, going as far as to say he's the type of sorcerer I would like to bring on a deserted island. What do you mean by that? Mei Mei, please! We have seen what you did with Wee Wee! Don't start going to people your own age now! It's too little, too late! But we get back to the fight and Kusakabe attacks Sukuna with a barrage of cuts, slashes. Got that man bleeding everywhere regardless. Nanami states that he doesn't know anyone who can block all of that in all of Jujutsu society, but he also knows someone who doesn't have to block it at all. And of course, he's talking about Gojo. It's like, bro, can we just stop glazing this for one second? He's not even in this chapter! Gege, I know you have favorites, but this is fucking ridiculous! Give Itadori some screen time, for fuck's sake! Kusakabe's sword breaks, but he remembers a saying his old master taught him. The sword doesn't make the nigga, the nigga makes the sword. So he starts throwing hands. He's out of a sword, but he is not out of options. You better believe that. Kusakabe starts wondering why he's even trying so hard, mid-kick to Sukuna. And he says he's in debt to Principal Yaga. But then he's like, nah, I'm tripping. Those kids fall with their lives on the line. And wait, is this nigga the honored one? It was him the whole time? No wonder Gojo got packed up. That nigga was lying. He was a fraud. Kusakabe is the real honored one. I'm interrupting this video for 10 seconds. Just 10 seconds. Can you just wait 10 seconds? Damn. A lot of people watching right now aren't subscribed, and I put a lot of effort into these videos and post every day, and I'm funny, so if you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe. That's all I'ma say. Enjoy the video. Um... Anyway... I, I mean, let's be real, we all knew that would happen. Don't act surprised! So after Kusakabe gets touched, Wee Wee comes in again, ready to save the day. But Sakura's been waiting on his little ass. And just look at this panel! Look at this! You cannot tell me the neighborhood is safe with this nigga around! He's straight preying on him! Wee Wee is the victim of Jujutsu Kaisen. He cannot get away! First Mei Mei, which is okay by the way, I would personally, you know. Like Mei Mei, if you ever get tired of Wee Wee and want a real nigga in your life, my Instagram is right here. I'm 6'2", 180 pounds, tall, broke, and black. Ignore the broke bit. But now Sukuna wants a piece of him, and don't worry, I've already called the local police, but the chapter ends there. Psych! The MVP, Miguel, arrives on the scene to rescue Wee Wee. Yes sir, you already knew it was him! Sukuna says, who the f*** are you? And the alpha, the GOAT, Miguel tells him, you must live under a rock for not knowing who I am, you dumb bitch. What word for word, I, I promise he said that. But that is not it. It ends there, but that is not it. The editor's comment says, Miguel, the man who fought Gojo Satoru on equal footing? First off, no. 
We got. We all saw the fight. Don't lie. <laughs> and there is no break next week. I skipped over some stuff this chapter so we could get right to the juicy bits. But if you're interested in the stuff I missed, I'm gonna go through it now real quick. When Sukuna pulled up on Wee Wee, he told him he's starting to get annoying. So maybe Sukuna's actually getting tired. I, I, I don't know. Probably not. After Kusakabe became the honored one, he used the hazy moon technique from his new shadow style, forming an aura to take the shape of his broken katana and rush his Sukuna. But bro, Sukuna grabs the sword with two fingers! Two fingers! And says, you aim for my heart, where well, I'm already damaged, huh? You pussy nigga. That shit was so fucking obvious, man, get out of here! And then it cuts to Kusakabe on the ground like we saw before. So he, he kinda went out sad. But Kusakabe also had a moment of self-reflection. When he was thinking about Principal Yaga, he realized he should be trying hard because he isn't here. He said Yaga wouldn't criticize him if he ran, but he would look a bit sad. And not even because he isn't putting his life on the line, but because he couldn't fight with them. And man, Principal Yaga is the GOAT, bro. That's actually the GOAT. An extra part of this chapter, Gege drew a chibi gojo panel of him sucking on an ice cream. And Gege, I can promise you, no one asked for that. No one asked for that, I promise you. But yeah. If you guys are wondering how Gojo's reacting to all of this, you'll probably enjoy this video. I posted it seven days ago, and in my opinion, it's the funniest video I've done. Here's a clip. S send out Maki. Send out Maki. What? Send out Maki. B why, why would we send out Maki? Bro, just send her out. Yo, Ma Maki but Sukuna, does that sound fair to you? Man, nigga, do you want to fight him? I didn't think so. Send her out. Send her out then. Bye. Alright, yo, yo, send out. We got no one left. What? Uh, how? No one? I, I mean, we got Kusakabe, but... Yo, send them out. What? That nigga, I said send them out. Send them out. But, but Kusakabe's not even a special grade. Nah, no, I don't care. Just send them out. Yo, bro, it's over, bro. It's over. Nah, we good. J just send out Kusakabe. It'll be fine. I'm, uh, I said no one ever. If you skip, you're gay, which is okay, because it's 2024, I guess. Don't cancel me. But listen, check out these shirts. They're kind of tough, right? And these hoodies too. Mmm, the LEDs, the jewelry. Thank you to Anime Express for making this video possible. If you guys want any anime merch, you can go to animeexpress.store and use code Rokalo10 for 10% off. Link is at the top of the description. Maki is still a pro and Sakuna fans are banned from purchasing, bitch. Make a sound and you die. Mari Takeo. Kisama.